there. It's uh, Thursday morning, uh, April 3rd. Today's recommendation is that we go to daily Mass, which in the Episcopal service we translate as the Communion service or the Eucharist service. And you might want to try finding a uh, church that celebrates the Eucharist. Um, many Episcopal churches do so um, during the week. Um, I think St. Philip's here in Annapolis does a Thursday morning Eucharist. Go online and, and look. Sometimes it's easier if you're used to being at St. Margaret's to go to a different congregation and that way you can hear the words differently because the people who are saying it are, have different intonations. Um, because what, what Paula Houston says on page 99, when you or at the Eucharist, or at the Communion, we have passed through the shimmering membrane that divides the created world from the universe of the Spirit, and momentarily we are transported. Um, sometimes I feel that, and sometimes I don't. Um, even when I'm leading the service, I don't feel that. Um, what I would recommend is um, if you can't find a Eucharist communion or a Mass to go to today, I would pick up your prayer book, go back online, see it in the Book of Common Prayer, and read the words to yourself, out loud to yourself. And cherish each word. Feel, feel what we are saying in the service, or what you're saying in the service, because sometimes when we're all together on a Sunday morning or on Wednesday morning or whenever we're doing Eucharist, it becomes so otherworldly that we, we stop thinking about what we're saying. Do the words make sense to you? And if they don't make sense to you, why not? Um, the clergy here at St. Margaret's would, would be delighted to talk to you about it. Frankly, between you and me, we have had to think those words through as well. Can we really say those words? Um, can we lead a community of 300 and say those words and really mean them? Um, so we have thought the thoughts that you have. Come see us. Give us a call. Let us know how that works for you. Thanks.